Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon dot. This powerful password cracking tool has become an indispensable asset for both ethical hackers and malicious actors alike. Ethical hackers use it to test the strength of security systems, ensuring that vulnerabilities are identified and patched before they can be exploited. On the other hand, malicious actors see it as a gateway to unauthorized access, using it to breach systems and steal sensitive information. Johydra's notoriety stems from its versatility and effectiveness. It is not limited to a single type of attack or protocol, which makes it incredibly adaptable in various scenarios. This adaptability is what sets Hydra apart from other tools, allowing it to be used in a wide range of cybersecurity operations. Whether it's a simple password test or a complex penetration test, Hydra is up to the task. This flexibility makes it a potent tool for penetration testers who need to assess the security posture of systems and networks. Penetration testers rely on tools like Hydra to simulate attacks and identify weaknesses that could be exploited by malicious actors. By using Hydra, they can provide valuable insights and recommendations to improve the overall security of an organization. In the wrong hands, Hydra can be used to gain unauthorized access to sensitive data, compromise systems, and launch further attacks. The potential for misuse is significant and it underscores the need for strict ethical guidelines and oversight when using such powerful tools. Cybersecurity professionals must always be vigilant and ensure that their use of Hydra is aligned with ethical standards and legal requirements. Whether you are a cybersecurity enthusiast looking to explore the world of ethical hacking, or a seasoned professional seeking to bolster your arsenal of tools, this guide will equip you with the knowledge and skills to wield Hydra responsibly. The journey to becoming a proficient ethical hacker is filled with challenges and learning opportunities, and tools like Hydra are essential in this journey. By mastering Hydra, you can enhance your ability to protect systems and data from malicious threats. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. And in the digital age, ethical hacking is not just a skill, it's a necessity. As we continue to rely more on digital systems, the role of ethical hackers becomes increasingly important. They are the guardians of our digital world, using their skills to protect and secure our information. Embrace the responsibility that comes with this power and use tools like Hydra to make the digital world a safer place for everyone. Before we delve into the intricacies of Hydra, it's essential to understand the environment in which we'll be operating. Creating a secure and controlled environment is crucial for our exploration. This ensures that our activities are both safe and effective, minimizing risks and maximizing learning opportunities. This is where Kali Linux steps in, providing the perfect digital proving ground for aspiring ethical hackers. With its robust and versatile platform, Kali Linux offers a comprehensive suite of tools and resources tailored for security professionals. Kali Linux is a Debian-based operating system specifically designed for penetration testing and security auditing. Its foundation on Debian ensures stability and reliability, making it a trusted choice for security experts worldwide. What sets Kali Linux apart is its comprehensive suite of pre-installed security tools, including Hydra. These tools are meticulously curated to cover a wide range of security tasks, from network analysis to vulnerability assessment. This eliminates the need for manual installation and configuration, allowing you to dive straight into the action. The convenience of having these tools readily available cannot be overstated, as it saves valuable time and effort. Furthermore, Kali Linux's open-source nature grants you complete control over the operating system, enabling customization and experimentation. You can tailor the environment to suit your specific needs, enhancing your learning experience. To embark on our Hydra journey, you'll need to either install Kali Linux as your primary operating system or set up a virtual machine. Installing it as your primary OS provides a dedicated environment, while a virtual machine offers flexibility. Virtual machines allow you to run Kali Linux within your existing operating system, creating a safe and isolated environment for your hacking endeavors. This isolation is key to maintaining the security and integrity of your primary system. Once you have Kali Linux up and running, you can verify its presence by opening a terminal window and typing unaim a. This simple command provides a quick check to ensure everything is set up correctly. This command will display system information, confirming that you are indeed running Kali Linux. It's a straightforward way to verify that your environment is ready for the tasks ahead. With our digital proving ground established, we can now move on to acquiring the star of the show Hydra. 
this powerful tool will be central to our exploration, offering a range of capabilities for testing and securing systems. With Kaylee Linux as our foundation, acquiring Hydra is a surprisingly simple task. Thanks to Kaylee's comprehensive nature, Hydra comes pre-installed, ready to be unleashed at a moment's notice. This saves us the hassle of manually downloading, compiling, and installing the tool, allowing us to focus on the more exciting aspects of ethical hacking. To confirm Hydra's presence on your system, open a terminal window and type Hydra, H. This command will display Hydra's help menu, providing a brief overview of its various options and usage instructions. Don't worry if the sheer number of options seems overwhelming at first, we'll delve into the most important ones in the upcoming sections. While Hydra's pre-installation in Kali Linux is undeniably convenient, it's worth noting that you can also download and install it manually on other Linux distributions or even Windows, using tools like Sigwin. However, for the sake of simplicity and consistency, we'll stick with Kali Linux throughout this guide. Section 4. Gearing up. Essential configurations for Hydra. Before we launch our first Hydra attack, it's crucial to understand the importance of proper configuration. While Hydra's default settings might suffice for basic attacks, customizing them to suit your specific needs can significantly enhance its effectiveness and efficiency. One crucial aspect of configuration is setting the appropriate network interface. Hydra uses this interface to communicate with the target system so it's essential to select the correct one, especially if you're running Kali Linux in a virtual machine. You can view your available network interfaces by typing ifconfig in the terminal. Another important consideration is setting the attack timeout value. This value determines how long Hydra will attempt to crack a password before moving on to the next one. Setting a reasonable timeout value prevents Hydra from getting bogged down on a single target, especially when dealing with large password lists. Lastly, familiarizing yourself with Hydra's various command line options is essential for tailoring your attacks. These options allow you to specify the target protocol, port, username list, password list, and other attack parameters. We'll explore these options in more detail in the upcoming sections. Section 5. Target in sight, understanding your prey. With Hydra primed and ready it's time to choose our target. This is where the real game begins and every detail matters. But before we unleash the beast, it's crucial to gather as much information as possible about our prey. This isn't just about finding a target, it's about understanding it deeply. This reconnaissance phase is essential for crafting an effective attack strategy and maximizing our chances of success. Think of it as laying the groundwork for a successful mission. The first step is to identify the target's IP address. This is the digital equivalent of finding your target's home address. This numerical address serves as the target's online location and is essential for directing Hydra's attacks. Without it, our efforts would be aimless. You can determine a website's IP address using online tools or by using the ping command in your terminal, followed by the website's domain name. This is a fundamental skill for any hacker. Next, we need to pinpoint the services running on the target system and the ports they use. This step is like mapping out the entry points to a fortress. Services are like digital doors, each associated with a specific port number. Knowing which doors are open can reveal vulnerabilities. By identifying open ports, we can determine which services are accessible and potentially vulnerable to Hydra's attacks. This is where we start to see the cracks in the armor. Several tools can help us with port scanning, such as Nmap, another powerful tool included in Kali Linux. Nmap is like a high-tech spyglass, giving us a closer look at our target. Nmap scans a target's ports, revealing valuable information about the services running behind them. This data is crucial for planning our next move. Armed with this knowledge, we can select the appropriate attack module for Hydra and focus our efforts on the most promising targets. This is where preparation meets opportunity, setting the stage for a successful operation. <laughs>